Walk with me. Yeah, I have to hold three or four different buttons at the same time to do what I'm attempting to do. So in ZBrush, it's always just a matter of randomly pressing the buttons until you get the right one. Unless you're good at ZBrush. It's pretty close to that. The question is, can I do it better? Hi, Damon. Who hey, else here? You guys are on the ball. I've only been screaming for like 30 seconds. So if I do this, what does that do? That just takes away. I need to be able to add little bits to it, which means I need a lasso tool. Find the perfect angle. In case you're wondering, I'm trying to cut his hands off. Ooh, nope. Gonna get the top of his thumbs. Hey. Crab walking, crab, crabber walker, neuter booter, whatever you are. Are you like from, um, that makes me think of, uh, Silent Hill. I think that had new crab, crab walkers. Nope, now I'm, okay, I'm holding the wrong buttons somehow. Got my brain. All messed up. You know, I can't figure out how to. Oh god. There we go. That's what happens when you randomly mash on your keyboard, desperately trying to get out of what you accidentally did. Can it recover? Oh, shoot. It's doing a um, reproduction for some reason. So we'll just wait for that. How are you guys doing tonight? Dottie, hello. Um, yeah, so best practices when working in ZBrush and making a creature is to have the parts kind of separated into conceptual buckets. So it's easy to turn the detail level up and down on them. And I should have had that done at this point, but I just one of those things where I just don't do it enough. Okay, mask. I don't want to mask. Are you going to reproject if I do this? Oh my gosh. Escape. Press escape key to accept current. Will you do what I asked? No. No. Okay, cool. Here we go. Let's try pressing these buttons. Yes, those are the right buttons. Okay, so I guess what I need to do then is select way more than I need. Boop. Okay. And then just go in and nibble away the stuff that I don't want to do. Is this? Yes. Anyone who is uh, competent at ZBrush would probably find watching my streams incredibly infuriating and frustrating. Or maybe it's just like so bad it's funny, like a like the room. You know what I mean? It's a every. It's incompetent on every level, and that just makes it incredible to behold. Uh, why am I digital sculpting Skola? Are you going to 3D print him? Um, I'm digitally sculpting because uh, I'm going to be rendering him for a book cover. 
Hey, Amy. It has been a bit. Welcome back. Okay, so now that I have these hands, I want to uh, separate them. So to do that, I need to go to Holly Groups, and I want to group visible. Okay, so now these are their own group. These should be a slightly different color. They are. Okay. Now that they're a separate group, I can go to the sub tool and I can split, split hidden. Boom. Okay. Yes, okay, so now I have hands up here. Let me see if I can remember how to rename. How do you rename a sub tool? Oh, I think you have to go down to a button here. Here we go. Okay. Hands. So I'll we'll rename this guy while I'm here. Uh, body. Very creative. Okay, and then I'm going to, let's see, well, I got the body here. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to nuke these feet because I was thinking a bit more about them. And I think I want to make them a little more uh, kind of like on their like tiptoes, so they just got little grabby claws. Because he's got four of them, so he doesn't really need these splayed toes for balance. It's almost redundant, and it would just kind of trip him up. So. Anyone else excited for the Shadow of Colossus uh, remake that's coming out on Tuesday? I am very excited. been watching video reviews of it. It looks like it's exactly what I would have wanted. Just pretty much exactly the same game. Just all the art uh, redone and the controls kind of tightened up. Looks gorgeous. And I have a PS4 Pro now so I can run it at like crazy high resolution. Considering this is just going to be under a bunch of sags of foldy flesh. Damon, you only own a PC. You don't have a house or clothes or food. Yeah, I'm sorry. Feetsies here, and I'm just going to nuke them. Tight. Okay, no feet for you, Scola. At least for a couple minutes. Okay, hide these hands. Now, in theory, because this is a uh, the Dynamesh, if I Dynamesh, do, do another Dynamesh, it will automatically fill in these holes for me. Let's see if I'm right. Damon says, nope, I'm currently naked in a library leeching off the free net. 
Uh, that's what libraries are for. That's why no one goes to libraries anymore. Cool, look at that. It worked. Smooth this down. So I cut it in all the spots where he's got uh, flabby skin folds wrinkled over it. It will be pretty much impossible to tell that he's separated into parts. I see here says Josh, one thing I was thinking about with Skull's arms, I pictured him with a bigger hands, taller fingers, and I thought it looked better. I'm not sure if you get what I mean. You just mean proportionately. You think he should have bigger hands? Let me, let me grab his concept art. Oh, did I not put it here? Why would I not put it there? No. Those two. Yeah, I like I like this proportion. Let's see how big are the proportions I currently have. Well, you're right, they're quite a bit dinkier. Yeah, so I want to scale those up. Good catch. And it's be nice and easy to fix. Let's go to my hands. I wonder if I now I'm curious, will it be easy to fix with symmetry? So you can scale them. Let's go to the middle. Uh, hmm. Why are you crooked in the middle? Is that really the best you can do? Oh, let's just see what happens when I scale them. Yeah, they do move out. And the question is, can I just move them? No. I want to move them the symmetry on. That's not going to happen for me. So my understanding was, when I hit the home button, it would just go to a nice standard flat axis, but it is not, it is not, and eyeballing it is certainly not a good idea, but that's what I'm going to try anyway. Amy says, my only experience with Shadow of the Colossus is the extra credits animation lesson based off it, but from those I can tell that a art revamp version would be quite pretty. Indeed. Yeah, Dan did a great job on those, those episodes. I hope he does more of them soon. Okay, so I can scale them in, but I can't move. You not work. Okay, so one way to fix this. This is getting a little out of my realm, but I'll try it anyway. Go ahead and split that invisible. Uh, split hidden. Okay, now I've got two different hands. Take this hand, delete it. Okay. Now, there is a way for competent artists to mirror a sub object over. Uh, let's 
first, though, I'm going to go ahead and... Retopple it just so I make sure it's fitting right. No. Not really re it. Well, I suppose it is technically re-changing the topology since it dynamesh remeshes the entire thing, but it's not in any clean sort of way. Okay, shifting from Maya mind frame to Photoshop mind frame. An hour ago, and now shifting into ZBrush. <laughs> Yay! Pretty yet. I just need to get the volume back into it. Head crab, yeah. All right, let's see if I can figure out this mirror thing. Is it a mirror and weld? And does that mean it's under deformation? Uh, smart resim? Does that mean it? Let me save it. that did some random thing that's going to make it so the next thing I do is never going to work. Guys, 
using that stupid plugin. I know there's a non-plugin way to do it now, but let me just see if that works real quick. Because if it works real quick, I'll be just happy dappy. Uh, okay, it's not going to show my plugins at this ratio. Subtool Master, I think it's called. There we go. Mirror. Merge into one subtool. Good. Append is new subtool. No. Uh, Z axis. Uh, maybe I want X. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Hey! Looks like that actually just worked. Excellent. Okay. Make a compilation of me struggling over random things. You know, that would just be the um, entire live stream, so. I do kind of smell a little electric burning going on right now. That's not a good thing. It might be my little foot warmer thingy since it's been having problems. Try turning off the heater. I'm in favor of not burning our house down. Well, we've been smelling it even longer. Although it would go with the theme of this uh, live stream, which is me struggling to figure things out. Okay, anyway, now that it's there, let's see, I assume my symmetry will be working. Yes. Let's just do a quick test. Tendon, knuckle. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, now for legs, I have this idea. I want to append a. What would be easiest? I. I guess I just want to make a cylinder, but I want to use radial symmetry on it. Okay, let's just try this. Cylinder. Um, oh. I wonder if there's a way to not have to go through this stupid process. Okay, I'm making it a poly mesh 3D, which means then it goes to somewhere else. Where is it? Hmm, I made these hands of PolyMesh 3D because obviously when you append something, it doesn't take you to the thing you just appended. That would be ridiculous. Uh, okay, here we go. Select the thing I actually want. Make PolyMesh 3D out of that. Legs, so do that. Three, two, 
turn on symmetry. Where's that under stroke? Somewhere stupid. Oh, it's under transform of it. Yes, activate symmetry. Radial symmetry. Uh, turn the count down to four because he has four legs. On. On the Y. Yes, yes. Foundation for stubby little legs, and I can go back to Scola. Come on, one of you is Scola. Yeah, of course. Okay, we get rid of this. select within your pin, even though 99.9% .9 of the time that's exactly what you want it to do. Alright. And... Hmm. I'm assuming if I rotate it that will mess up my symmetry, but let's see. See how nice that is to sculpt once and you get four results? I wish they made uh, real life clay that did that.
All right. So I imagine he's got a similar bone structure to what's going on in his hand, but like uh, most animals, the, uh, the phalanges are like stretched out in such a way that he's kind of on his little like tippy toes, if you can imagine. I can imagine. So I'm going to do some basically little like stubby grippy claws. Extruders on the bottom of his feet as well, so he can pretty much climb on any surface, anytime, anywhere. Alita, hello. We can stubby little claw feet right now. symmetry on these two uh, sides, so it's kind of being crazy when I pull it up there. I think the back is still symmetrical though. Congratulations, uh, you guys. You are the first to uh, become close intimate with the undercarriage of a spitter. It's a world first.
Yeah, you should you should feel privileged, Damon. I know all you have is a computer, but now you have both a computer and the intimate knowledge of what a spitter's anus looks like. Uh, it's probably well. It's a cloacia. Not really an anus. All the various bits and bobs are all hidden up in there. It's not that vulgar. Still haven't decided on giving him a little stumpy tail or not. I don't. I mean, he does have a front and a back, but once you get to the bottom, it's it's radially symmetrical. So it almost feels weird to have a tail kind of arbitrarily sticking out of the back because I think I pretty much decided that his spine is going to be coming down into the middle around here. From here he almost looks like a California raisin. He just needs the saxophone and tennis shoes. You know, I had a neighbor who, uh, well, my parents had a neighbor. They moved there after I had moved out, but um, I still got to know him. And he worked on the stop motion for the California Raisins, which kids these days probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'll bet Dottie does. Dottie knows who the California Raisins are, don't you, Dottie? Just sculpt the um, the nails. Well, let me try. Let me try real quick using an insert brush. I'll just use the same uh, guys I have for the spine. Let's see how that feels. Stable enough not to need a table tail. Agreed. And Leaf also agrees. Damon, you were a California raisin for Halloween? <laughs> My parents put you in a trash bag full of newspaper. Um, and that's where you stayed for the rest of your life, apparently, since the only thing you own is a computer and apparently a trash bag. Try using my little trim brush. How does that work out for me? Not bad. Oh, now why did that trim brush not have symmetry on it? That's because it's an insert mesh brush. Anyway, I don't, I'm not feeling like that's really helping me anyway. I can just sculpt these in pretty, pretty quick and easy. 
Damien Standard Rush, please. Still carry your PC around in that bag. That makes sense. like he can definitely like flex his um claws to dig in so he's got to have uh probably a first and second knuckle somewhat exposed so imagine the second knuckles up here depending on where you count it from uh he's got a knuckle here knuckle here and then a claw I don't think you must have an unstable character to give him a tail. It's more like a look than a need. But to a certain extent, I mean, I try to put thought into how these things would have evolved to suit the, uh, the environment that they evolved in conjunction with. And in this case, they were kind of parasite slash, um, they're probably in that gray area between parasite and symbiote for the uh, Magus Montums. All tales I can think of, I'm sure there's others in nature, are either balanced, prehensile, or to keep bugs away from their butt. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, horses and elephants, I don't, especially elephants, like, I don't think their tails <laughs> do it anything for their balance. between the front and the, the between the thumbs and the fingers I imagine would be you know this stretch of area on the hand or you know like the webbing that you have between thumb and finger it's just because they've evolved to be like this all the time it's moved down to there kind of like kind of like the crotch on a penguin you know so low even though their their bones are extending up into their past it Newbie, yes, I got ZBrush. I bought it many years ago when it was on sale. And Pixel Logic is such an awesome company that I, they don't make you buy upgrades. So I've been upgrading it for free for like, I don't know, eight or nine years. Well, I think I heard that the next full version that they do is gonna, you're gonna have to rebuy it, but. Given that I paid like, I don't know, $700 and I've been using it for seven years, like $100 a year, it's a darn good deal. Although I clearly have not been using it enough since I'm still like constantly trying to figure out how to use the features again and again and again. one of those things where like I use it at work sometimes it's like a guilty pleasure where I'll 
I'll get to make a prop or something for the game and just kind of sneak it in. But it's not really technically my job, but still everyone likes it when I do it. So I just know I can't push it. I can't do ZBrush all day every day. And so as a result, I'm just good enough at it to constantly be frustrated. Lolita thinks that horses still use their tail for balance. What would you know about it, Aletha? You've only owned like two or three horses. Maybe the fourth horse you own will convince you that they don't use their tail for balance. right yeah so basically they're there they would be almost direction agnostic when they're walking they're not faster or slower going forward backwards side to side or anything Sarah says, I'm not looking for a purpose here when designing Skull, I just need a unique look, otherwise he wouldn't have four legs. Um, no, I mean, I try to take it a step further than just trying to do something unique. I, I want it to also be... Scientifically plausible, that's that's the uh, phrase that I use over and over and over again. It's like, I want to think further than just how does this look, but actually how did, how does it function and why did it evolve to function that way? Those are very important questions to me and they end up giving me uh, really unique looks, I think, as a result. Because I'm not just kind of following whatever whim is in my head, I'm also forced by interesting constraints but not forced too hard Alita says so long as the fourth horse is a Frisian or Gypsy Van Air it can use its tail for whatever it wants mm. not sure what either of those horses are but they sound beautiful asking if a bobbed tail will actually affect a horse's movements. Good question. It wouldn't be the first time that we cruelly altered an animal's uh, physiology to appease an arbitrary aesthetic So many of the poor breeds of dogs that can barely breathe and like constantly break their hips and stuff just because people were like, oh, I want it to look like this random proportions. I feel like horses haven't been altered physically nearly as much as dogs. I could be wrong about that, but it seems like when you see images of wild stallions out there. Well, I, I guess who knows how long they've been wild. Maybe they were, um, you know, bred in captivity for thousands of years and then just 500 years ago, you know, are no longer in captivity, but they still have the uh, 
physiognomy of uh, captive horses. Wait, physiognomy only facial features. No, I need to find this. Oh, it is just a person's facial features or expression, especially when regarded as indicative of character or ethnic origin. So what is the overall? Is it physiology? I think that's too broad. A branch of biology that deals with normal functions of living organisms and their parts. The way in which a living organism or bodily part functions. No, there's there's a word for the sh the shape, the actual like forms and shapes of a creature or a person. Ah, this is gonna haunt me. Let's get some of these creases from the inside of their knees. Thing. Still want it to be kind of, kind of chubby and pudgy like uh, baby legs. Riding horses is abusive. People should stop riding horses. We have cars. Damon says, riding horses is only abusive if you do it incorrectly. Mimi says, American wild horses are originally bred European horses. Yeah, horses, no horses in America before the Spanish. Yeah, I knew that, but I mean, there's wild horses in Europe as well. happening around the, the toes and I'm kind of lacking that here. So. Damon says all the Native American horses died out a long, long time ago. Yeah, like, like hundreds of thousands of years ago. I believe they were itty bitty things too. They were like dog sized. Only vaguely related to modern horses. I'm just, I'm curious, like, how, like, when humans first started domesticating them, did they look as different as a wolf looks from a chihuahua? You know what I mean? Like, have they been changed that much? Let's see, there would be a lot of compression wrinkles around the face. Which can carry over onto their toes. Where do you live, Damon? Where they've got fossils of horses? Says those I'm not sure. I know that people living in the steppe have been riding horses since forever, though. Yeah, I think 
historians are generally agreed that forced domestication started in the steppes. Although that's always a dangerous thing to say because historians like to disagree with each other on everything. So a little palm. Let's see. What is the palm of a foot called? A soul. So a little soul sphincter down here that exudes webbing. Since they're always walking around on it, I imagine it would be kind of callous and built up a bit more than the ones on their palms. Just did look up the Ashfall fossil beds. Fairly recently became a state park to preserve them, still being excavated. Holy intact skeletons. Cool. I'm going to be traveling all around the western United States uh, in a couple of months. I'm going to start planning a trip that I'm taking my son on when he graduates. And we want to visit all the like super cool monuments in the western U.S. If that's in the western U.S., that may be part of our itinerary. that if I do my folds and wrinkles purely subtractively it doesn't look right and then also if you do it purely positively where you're actually like adding bumps like I am now that also tends to not work it, it's best if you bounce back and forth between the two although the, the lumpy bumpy toad skin I put on it is probably going to obscure most of it I still want to have a a good baseline for that. Yeah, I really like that. Just the crazy little little stub feet they they would just always be in a blur as, as he's scooting around i think that'll be super super cool bump the resolution up a little bit more and then give them some claws Nebraska, huh? Boy, I don't know if we'll make it as far east as Nebraska. We'll see. Probably depends on how far east I go. If, if we're going to hit, like, um, the Black Hills and Yellowstone and those areas, then I might be as far as Nebraska. But even then, like, the pull of Utah and sticking to the eastern side of the, um, of the mountains there, so, it would have to be pretty darn spectacular to get us away from those things. Why do I feel like this is not significantly more dense? Okay, let's try this. Ancient rhinos, horses, dogs, etc. That's cool. And Sierra says his legs now look cool like he's holding his fingers as a defense mechanism. You ever seen Die Hard? You, uh, you make make fists with your feet. Go bare, barefoot on the carpet and make fists with your feet. That's what he's doing. Of the quick trip, the path my eyes have 
vanity on its vanity. At least this Did that burning smell go away when we turned off the heater? Or is it still down? I can't tell. Damon says you're better off not. Okay. <laughs> not visiting Nebraska again. I remember now you told me you're from Nebraska. That's a, that's probably a good state to just live in a trash bag and carry your computer around in a trash bag. Amy says earliest undisputed evidence of domesticated horses are chariot burials dating to 2000 BC on the Ural Steppe. Yep, yeah, that sounds right to me. Although I'm sure there's plenty of other disputed areas because guess what? Every country in that region is like, we want to be historically significant for all the reasons. Because that makes us feel special. So our scientists are going to say that we have earlier finds. Damon says, ironically, my family is planning a similar trip, heading north, hit the Black Hills, Mount Rushmore, zip through Yellowstone, head to Washington to visit family, then drive down the 101. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of basically going the opposite direction. Probably head east across Washington to Utah. And then probably south. I still I still have to chart it all out. But yeah, probably coming back up north on the 101. So maybe we'll uh, pass each other in the night. What, uh, what time of year are you doing that? back via Arizona to visit your mom. There's a lot of really cool stuff in Arizona. Fortunately, it's very spread out. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of not cool stuff in Arizona too. Texas was like that. I lived in uh, Texas for five years and that was a lot of rolling hills of nothing but sagebrush. Imagining that these claws are pretty, pretty good at retracting in and out as needed. Now, Sarah says, "Why does he have four holes on each leg? Does he have four exit areas?" So, all his limbs have places where he can exude his sticky webbing, which he can use to tie things up or create little nests for himself or his eggs or whatever. He's got he's got his one orifice here for all excretory and reproductive purposes. And then these webbing uh, sphincters are completely separate. They have nothing to do with those functions. They're basically like uh, spider spinnerets. And he says it's so much driving, so many cramped legs. You're a spider, obviously. That came out sounding weird. Uh, you're a spider. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like driving long distances. As long as there's good conversation or good audiobooks or podcasts or whatever that's stimulating my mind. Uh, you know, I would just be sitting at home doing similar stuff anyway, so...
Damon says, I think the current plan is April, but depending on how an interview I have, one of those may be pushed back. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be doing mine in June? Early June, I think, is when uh, Shane graduates. It'll be just when it's like blasting hot in all the desert uh, areas we're going to be hiking through. Building up these, like, uh, um, you know, when you fold your hand and you get those those kind of rolls of skin. I'm imagining he's, you know, he's got his claws in like this, so they're they're poofing up those uh, those pillowy areas, and then that, ex you know, expands out to the side, which helps give some some interesting uh, contrast and form to the uh, to the sides here which is important because I'm not I'm, this whole area right here is kind of a, a no man's land to me and it, it might be fine that way it's good to have areas of rest I mean if you look at the side of someone's thigh or something like it doesn't need to have all these convolutions and wrinkles and folds to make it interesting because it's a good area of rest Damon, we plan on about 10 hours of driving a day or more, depending on the leg of the journey. Uh, yeah, I'm, I gotta plan all that out. I gotta figure out, like, how, how far apart are we gonna do these parks? How tight of a schedule do we wanna keep? Like, I think I care more about the overall, like, pleasure of the trip rather than making sure that we hit every place on an itinerary but I don't know some of the places we're probably going to need reservations for certain things like tours and stuff like that I, I have to research it more this is a good reminder that I need to do that probably sooner rather than later Amy says, going to places sounds fun, but I don't like driving. Yeah, well, that would definitely make a long car trip a lot less fun. Heather is the same way. She can't go on long car trips. But that's because she is weak and feeble and diseased. She's I'm fine. She's fine. She's fine. She only has two or three degenerative diseases. Is uh, your ankylosing spondylitis not a real thing? It's just a manifestation of the EDS? Is that what that is? It's, well, they thought it might be, but actually, my ankylosing is awful. Oh. Interesting, now I have time to go off surgery. Yeah. Yeah. So many fun surgeries. Make sure they're not planned for when we're on a road trip, honey. Find out when Shane graduates exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sarah asks, do cleaners have the ability to regenerate missing parts? Um, I think I'm gonna probably say no to that, just because they already have 100 amazing features about them. They don't need all the amazing features of all the animals in the world. I think if we have any sentient creatures that that would fit with 
maybe some of, maybe some of the C ones. That might be cool. Right, I think that's probably fine for now. Let's try to flatten this feet out a little better. And these guys are more like this color, which is going to make putting him on the cover of a book very challenging. Bowmark worked well as a bronze bust, and then the third character, Lilk, she's going to work well as a, as a white marble bust. This guy is going to have to be like made of onyx or something for his sculpture. And what I should do is I should just research how people uh, photograph dark sculptures and pottery and stuff. Driving too. Wife doesn't mind as much. She just sleep. Oh well, that must work out well. Trying to avoid too late in the summer since we're coming back via the desert. My mom lives in Yuma and is usually north of 100 all summer. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's going to be interesting for Shane and I, who are used to northwest summers that rarely get into the upper 80s. Like maybe a couple days out of the year, it'll get into the 90s, but that's super rare. He says, get car sick really easily, so I'd either have to drive at my permit, I'm not used to it enough to be stressed out about it, or take medication. What time do we got? I think we have enough time to rough in the hands real quick. So I can get them at least to the same stage as the feet. That would make me feel better. Let's go to Yellowstone. Um, I don't know. Yellowstone doesn't have the awesome rock formations that I'm all about. Cool desert rock formations are my. Those are my big. He's got to go there features. Like wildlife is just like eh, wildlife and zoos. Geysers, I mean, that's, that's cool, but there's geysers other place, places too. I think, I've, I think I've been to Yellowstone when I was pretty young, like seven or eight or something like that. My family does not, so I'm really looking forward to dragging them out into nature for once. <laughs> Good luck with dragging people into doing physical activities they're not interested in. That's what I have to say. Uh, we did a, a fair amount of hiking um, years ago, but as the kids got older and Heather's health got worse. I've done less and less. 
So I'm gonna be totally out of shape for this. I think I think I probably need to seriously look in look into um let's see practice hikes beforehand. But opportunity cost man. This is the Northwest is, is known as the, like one certainly one of the best hiking regions in the country. And I haven't even been to all of the major places, like even within an hour of me, so. Put a dark background, like a dark blue behind it, so it doesn't seem as dark in comparison. True. Throw a handful of leaves at family. Nature! There you go. That's a good way to get them into nature. Lita says, I haven't been to Yellowstone since I was six years old. Would be neat to see it again as an adult. The thermal areas in New Zealand were pretty cool, though, when I went there a couple years ago. Yeah, I really want to go to New Zealand at some point. Can't drive there, though. That's the biggest problem. Waiting for them to just build a freeway from uh, Washington to New Zealand. Millie Long Bridge. Like on Bojack Horseman, they made a bridge that went from California to Hawaii, and then it was just a non stop traffic jam. Amy says, My parents were honestly considering going in the winter as if us delicate Californians could survive winter in Yellowstone. Oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be miserable. Doesn't it get like below zero a lot there? Damon says, if nothing else, get on a treadmill with some weight. Yeah, that could work. I've been everywhere in the Cascades and Olympics when I was a kid. Oh, that's cool. Did you run into any uh, sparkly vampires? Amy says New Zealand and Iceland are definitely bucket list places to go. Agreed. Lita says, I'm tentatively planning to go in March 2019, ABC Weather Workshop. I'll let you know if that actually works out, if you want to go with this. Yeah, who knows? Might be in a position to do that at that time. Who knows? I was talking to someone who works at Weta last year at Emerald City Comic Con. The place looks cool, I, but I can't get over the way Richard Taylor talks, the owner. Like, everything about him seems like a personality I would not get along with, which is really weird. Like most people in creative industries are just like seem like really easygoing, like low intensity, low ego people. Um, that may I hear that's not that's not accurate when it comes to film though. I have not worked on films. But in video games 
really great luck with just really awesome, super talented coworkers who are all down to earth and happy to help you and you know, ego to speak of. So no sparkly vampires, but I avoided forks. Who doesn't? Mostly lots and lots of horse flies. Horse flies over there? You know, I've been over there many times. I don't recall horse flies, but maybe it's just the time of year. tendons on the back of his hands here pulling you know for normal finger motion and I think they're just exactly the same thing going back there which is which is going to make his uh, wrist pretty interesting structure I think because it's going to need like our tendons come our tendons come from different directions as well we have we have some going on the bottom and the top and and yeah so front and back of the wrist Damon says up in the mountains during the summer the flies are awful hmm, maybe I didn't make it far enough into the mountains mostly stuck to you know the parks around the freeway or the highway things where I don't know why that would be wrong and having it that way makes it different than most things so I'm tempted to keep it that way but I can't think of a way to really justify it imagining these tendons actually open the palm sphincter for the webbing. It's actually pretty similar to the way uh, muscles around the mouth uh, move our mouth muscles, which are also sphincters. Do you guys know you have a sphincter mouth and sphincter eyes? True. Good up.
with the tendons going out like this. I don't know if it would make sense to have them running into the digits or not because I don't know if they should have independent control. Like, does he have to spread his fingers out in order to exude the webbing? Or is it bit like, I think spider spinnerets have these little, little uh, fingerling things that kind of help pull the, the thread out. So it would make sense if he could actually do that with his fingers while it's coming out. Especially since he has three, he could be doing like thumb one and finger one, thumb two and finger two, thumb three. So he can kind of do it in a wave. That could be pretty cool. Which would mean that I would want these tendons to actually be separate from the fingers. Like they can, they could just be kind of radiating out and then work up into the tissue around this area, up into the uh, wrist bones. Yeah, that is a horrifying visual, isn't it, Amy? Except I have his thumbs are quite a bit longer. Don't know if I want them to be really symmetrical or not. I think I need to I think I need to try them out longer.
Mm. Yeah, I think I do like them longer. I think I remember when I was doing that sketch, I started out with them really stubby. And then thought, eh, what happens if they're closer to the lead fingers? Fashioned gizmo. Is it this? No. It's one of 800,000 buttons, and I don't remember what it is. Alright, so I'll just have to do it the dumb way. enough for it. Oh. <laughs> the don't be afraid is ever so slightly too close for comfort. This is a good stopping point. I think I got everything roughly to the same level of detail, and then minus the arms. And I still need to do all the spines and stuff, but that's going to be a whole nother session, I think. So I feel like I got them in much better, much better state. Yeah. All right. So I'll call it a night for now, and uh, thanks for joining me, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Go to my website or something. All right, that was that was my best attempt at a um, at a plug. All right, see you guys next time.